Hello and welcome to Scribble and Dits, the show where the guest of the week provides me a topic and I have to draw it no matter how obscene, obscure, or outright ridiculous that topic may be. My name is Cody and with me this week is my good friend, Kyle. Hi Kyle, how are you doing? I'm good. Great. That wasn't forced at all. <laughs> that was so forced. That's okay. So, you brought a topic for me today. Yes, yes. And I have to draw it. It's definitely going to be more obscure. Uh, we're doing Star Wars. Okay. Uh, I'm going to give you a character's name. And if you'd like, I can kind of give you a little bit of a... Like, oh, they're kind of like this. But I'm not going to describe them. Okay. You're, you're going to go completely off of what does this sound Their like name <laughs> what is this what kind of person is this kind of this sound like great uh and this isn't the first time we've you've drawn star wars stuff at all because the first time we ever met i don't know if you remember uh -oh. in like 2000 like five when we were in middle school oh no i don't met, talk about middle I, school cody <laughs> uh, the way i met you is you showed me a drawing of a clone trooper you did and i didn't even know you i think we were in the same lunch line <laughs> <laughs> And you were just drawing. It was oh, like, that's sad. <laughs> hey, no, do you want to see my drawing? No, I don't think you came up and offered it. I think I was like, whoa, cool. What's that? Great. Because I'm, cause I'm <laughs> 12. I tell it was a clone trooper. <laughs> it was a really good clone trooper. Okay. It was really good. Cool. Um, so the, it's come full circle now. Great. Now we're... All these years later. Now we're, we're doing drawing. this. Okay. So this character, this first one, uh, the character's name is Tup. T-U-P, that's it. Just top. Okay. I, um, I think I may actually know who this character is. Really? Maybe. Okay, we'll, well see. we'll see what you can go for. Uh, this character is uh, tragic, I'd say, <laughs> is a good way to put it. Well, that's not at all what I was going to draw. Yeah, I, don't, I don't know, to give you a, a, a sense for him, you know, part of the zeitgeist, I guess. I was going to make him really happy. <laughs> I thought that was a nose you were drawing at first. Oh, there it is, yeah. <laughs> All right, got some... Is that hair or his scalp? He's just a very wrinkly uh, alien. <laughs> he looks like a... You spray, like, shaving cream, and then it gained a face. <laughs> He said to your chamber. <laughs> uh, let's give him some uh, nipple exhaust pipes right here. And, uh, yeah, that'll be accurate. That'll be that's what Star Wars. It's it's family friendly nipple. I think exposure. I'm thinking of the wrong character. Uh, yes, I can already tell you. You are definitely thinking of the wrong character. I was thinking of like one of those bounty hunters that was like in the yellow jumpsuit with like the brown oh, face. Oh, uh, tr uh, those would be a, that'd be a Trandoshan. That'd be Bosk. Right. That's a lizard face, first <laughs> off. You're just drawing poop. Hey, everybody. I'm tough. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, all right. Okay. What are, what's that? He's, he's, got a, uh, uh, he's got a cord coming out of him. Oh, it's like an earpiece. No, it's just keeping him alive. Oh, okay. It's like a... Um, it's like a pacemaker, but it goes into his head. It goes into his ear. <laughs> Hold Maybe. on, I can't, I can't no, hear you because of my pacemaker. <laughs> of course they were. I silly me. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the other. <laughs> Did I get it? <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> no, Cody, you didn't. I cheated slightly. What Tup do you mean? is a nickname. His real name is CT five three eight five. It's a clone trooper. No, man, this is tough. I, no. <laughs> Eight, five. The first thing you ever, I ever saw you drew was a clone trooper. I had to do it again. He's got a little teardrop shaped um, tattoo under his eye. Does that mean he killed someone? Uh, he killed someone in prison. Yeah, I think that's what that Why means. does that transcend, like, galaxies? Why is that? Uh, <laughs> even in a galaxy far, far away, it's a, it's just a self-evident thing. You kill someone in prison, teardrop tattoo. Okay. Uh, well, there's my clearly. tup. That's that's tup. Okay. <laughs> that's him. All right. What's number two? Okay. Uh, this guy's name is Sidon Ithano, uh, codenamed the Crimson Corsair. Uh, this guy is swashbuckling. You want to picture that? If it, uh, if, I don't know if you want like little hints or something, but no. 
Okay, all right. We're going with like the elongated mouth and teeth thing again. <laughs> <laughs> This, I already can picture the voice being like Yokel. Like, howdy! <laughs> <laughs> is, that, is, that, is that the Captain Crunch hat? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, somehow, somehow this looks like a PlayStation 1 mascot. <laughs> or like, oh, you know what? I'm thinking of like K Rule, that era of uh, yeah, character yeah, design. Like K Rule. Um, hang on. <laughs> Um, <laughs> you got the little Adam's apple. <laughs> What's that supposed to be? <laughs> it's a <laughs> shovel? <laughs> that little plastic trowel? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I guess for a treasure hunter, that'd be a good, a good logo. <laughs> now, is that a coat or is that the frills like from a the dinosaur? No, it's a cape. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Capes, I mean, capes happen in Star Wars. Count Dooku has one. Lando has one, yeah, excuse La oh, you. Oh, yeah, Lando. He has a closet full of them. Why didn't I think of Lando? I'm, I'm, I'm reading a, a Clone Wars era book, so that's, Count Dooku's more on the mind, I suppose. Okay. I No, I like this guy. Uh, <laughs> I can see him having, like, the Star Wars equivalent of uh, a rusty wooden boat that goes down a bayou. <laughs> But he's just like going across the galaxy. <laughs> you know, halfway through hyperspace, he goes, <laughs> tum, 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 tum. he has to hit it a couple times. Couple of arms, couple of legs. Okay, yeah. All right, this spider. is my side oh. on that thing with a crimson corsair. He's a spider alligator. <laughs> <laughs> a spider alligator uh, that sails the seven spaces. The seven hyperlanes. Um, not even close. <laughs> I don't think you're gonna get a single one of these close. I guess nonsense. This is this is exactly. <laughs> you might get lucky. Be. Um, you might recognize him from Force Awakens. Ah, yeah, I uh, see. He's this pirate, like traveler, <laughs> swashbuckling. I uh, I haven't read the story they have on him, but it's he. You know, he's got a ship and he treasure hunts and it gets into all sorts of adventures. So yeah, he's right. There you go. <laughs> now it, that's that's what it was missing. That's what. Is now makes it accurate. There we go. He is the Crimson Corsair. Yeah, there Howdy. we go. Howdy. <laughs> All right. Okay. Who's next on this Who, wacky no. tale? <laughs> um, I got it. This is a name that isn't hard to say, but I feel like I could mumble it easy. So I got to take this thing. Pong Krell. Pong Krell. So Pong like the old arcade game, and then K R E L L. And I guarantee you, you've seen his species before. If that tells you anything. This guy, and, and he's ruthless, is the word I'd use for him. Uh, very rectangular so far. <laughs> <laughs> You're just drawing the Pong battle? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> he's got little, he's got Lynx boots from Ocarina of Time, okay. <laughs> So my advice that you've definitely seen this guy before. Straight out the window. <laughs> I think that's it. Uh, that's it? You're, you're like, nailed it. That's him. Wait. Um, we gotta give him a little bit of Star Wars in this. Yeah, to him. yeah, a little bit. <laughs> At least a little bit. <laughs> Tell me, what Star Wars thing have you, have you seen this guy in? First off, the gloves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, with the boots and the gloves, I could. Yeah, he's very well dressed. <laughs> yeah, it'd be weird if he wasn't wearing boots and gloves. You know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that'd be ridiculous. He's gotta have his his little blaster. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> um, he's, is some... he, so he's like an alive brick? <laughs> he's the Pong paddle. <laughs> he's the Pong paddle for Pong. Okay. <laughs> Did I get it? Uh, you were close. <laughs> no, you weren't. Uh, it's, it's a Jedi Master 
uh, who's the same species as Dex from Attack of the Clones. Yeah, he's pretty square. Yeah, I, I guess so, overall. Whereas Dex Man, was, Dex let himself go. Dex is obese. <laughs> like, if you don't see another Besilisk, you might assume that's normal. I thought that was. <laughs> yeah, but no, this this is what one looks like this when they're fit. This is what you can be, Dex. Yeah. Uh, and his lightsabers, he's, wearing, he's using two double-bladed lightsabers because he's insane. Um, the switchblade that the the trailer that Ray does right. in the new one, it's same thing. They, they're switchblade. They can fold up, cool. and he can uh, kind of hold them more more like that. I don't know, man. I'm pretty sure Pong Krell is the that's, real one. Yeah, no, that's that's actually more accurate. You're right. Yeah, in the Clone Wars, uh, you know, when I was reading Clone Wars stuff, that's what I pictured. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Let's go for number, number four. four. In okay. My, in my space altercation. Space. This one is... His name is Jackson, but with two X's instead of a C and a K. It sounds like a printing company. Like, it, uh, it, it could very easily be a competitor to Xerox or something of that <laughs> effect. <laughs> New Jackson brand glossy photo paper. Uh, this, I I don't know anything about him. Is that Google, his name? So I actually can't... Is that just that's his name? His, that's his name. That's his name. And I don't know anything about him, so I actually can't... Uh, describe. So I'm just going blind. He's going blind. What can I can give me like one feature. Um, he's green. <laughs> <laughs> that will help you with an outline. Um, he looks like an Earth creature. <laughs> Ironic. If you're drawing a frog, ironically, this would have looked more accurate for the one right before. Damn it! <laughs> no, keep going. It's too late. A um, bit of trivia on this guy. He was one of the th he was one of the uh, characters that a lot of people considered to be one of those like silly extended universe things where they're like, ah, geez, well, I mean, when we talk about cool Star Wars stuff, he's not on there. They brought him back into canon after after you know really? the wipe. They brought him back. The, not all the fans were like kind of relieved because he was gone, but then they brought him back. It was like it's cool that he's back. That's kind of cool that they're referencing older stuff. The one stuff. that people hate. I don't know if hate. I hate. Think, I think hate's a strong word, but it's always like this is silly. This is kind of weird. Um, and so just newer stuff has brought him back. He's been in a comic, a couple comic books, I think. Um, and actually, you're actually kind of on to another. You're actually drawing something from Return of the Jedi where it's the in when the it's the shot of Jabba's palace and it eats the, the it's the weird mutant oh. frog that eats the fly oh, no. you're actually just drawing that <laughs> that's Jack Solid. yeah this so is... ir ironically had that been him you'd be right on for once <laughs> you actually drew something from Star Wars basically Yay! <laughs> I think even with the eyebrow things I I, <laughs> really? I think from memory if I'm remembering that creature right we can put it up that might be it great well this is my Jack Solid. yeah uh, not even close <laughs> Uh, he's a rabbit man. <laughs> he's a rabbit? He's a rabbit man that looks gross. Look at he's him. He's peppy. He's peppy, yeah. I didn't want What's to say peppy. What's with the peppy. weird syringe that's on this gun? Um, it's probably, that's probably something. Is he like a scarecrow a situation? No, he's, <laughs> he's like a, he's like a smuggler. That guy's terrifying. He's so weird. He's horrifying. Other, I mean, this is one of those artists that did everything hyper realistic for the cover. In Ugh. the actual comic, he looks more, you know, like. Like a cartoon. A cartoony, yeah. All right. So, well, number five. Okay, this one. Oh my gosh, I can't even say this one. His real, this is his real name that you're going to have to go off of. He has something he's more well known by. His real name is Mithra Naruto. Uh, and there's an apostrophe. There's a couple apostrophes. Myth Mithra Naruto. I don't know Mithra if that's how... Naruto. It's only ever been written down, so I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. But that's the guy. Okay. A lot of rectangles with you. I don't know if there's many... I don't know how many rectangles you've seen in the Star Wars Galaxy. <laughs> okay, okay. He's got a little hat. Ooh, dark and I'll say this is one of the most intelligent creatures in the galaxy. <laughs> it's a it's the biker from SpongeBob the movie. No. Um, okay. I've got 
I've got something going. Okay, okay. Oh, you're drawing a droid. Okay. A droid whose mouth has short-circuited, so whenever someone asks for his name, he goes... <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I thought that was like he was smoking. No. So he's like Bender. <laughs> he's doing the splits. <laughs> well, this is Bender plus Zoidberg. He's got the clamps. Wait, hang on. <laughs> With little tiny fingers? He's got mittens. <laughs> Is this close? No. Oh no. <laughs> uh, he comes from uh, a, a. He actually comes from a little outside the galaxy. When he came to the Star Wars galaxy, he took up a normal name, and most people know him as Grand Admiral. Thrawn. That's Thrawn. That's Thrawn's no! real name. <laughs> His chist name is Mithra Naruto. I should have thought with the Mithra. Is that Instead a thing? I... Is that a thing with chist that you know that I don't? What? He was like, oh, I should have known. No, I should have known with Thra, like Thrawn. Yeah, I, I, he gets his name probably from the middle of that. I mean, if you didn't think to be looking for it. Because Thrawn's right there. I mean, if you weren't oh, come thinking. come on, it was right there. <laughs> if, uh, Date yeah. it. Yeah. I mean, if you weren't thinking to find an, a secret meaning to it, you wouldn't have ever seen that. Hey, draw Thrawn. Cool, here's a robot yeah. with the through the splits and his mittens. If I said draw Thrawn, that wouldn't be any fun, now would it? Okay. All right, number six. This one, uh, Team Toe Pagalies. Pagalies. <laughs> um, <laughs> please do not <laughs> give me any further clues. Nothing? Okay. And just accept what I'm gonna draw. <laughs> Let's do it, okay. I don't know if I could describe this guy anyway. <laughs> Is that a pod racer? <laughs> or is... <laughs> it's the scene from Spongebob where he's conjoined at the hip with Patrick, and <laughs> except there's two of them. <laughs> I don't even... Is that like the material of an accordion between them? <laughs> All right, so here's what I'm thinking. Okay, so this you'll is have a, to, you'll have to explain this, is this a, one. <laughs> a living accordion, <laughs> and, <laughs> and each end of the accordion is a little man who can only tell lies. <laughs> okay, for the first half of this, I'm like, okay, he's gonna figure what maybe this name. Might lend itself it's to in, a, in the Star Wars Pagalize. universe. <laughs> Never mind. You're just going. I'm just gonna draw whatever I want, and maybe it's... no. This is a Star Wars character. He's sure. A... Yeah. It should. It's a Star Wars <laughs> character. Sure. Or maybe this could be a lightsaber. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were drawing a pod racer at first. With the, the little energy crackling in between it. Uh, oh no. I like how they have different personalities, you know? It's it makes them This looks like unique. a DLC to Cuphead. <laughs> it does. You have to always stay close to the other person. I could see that. They're tethered. Was so, that right? So they have one name between them and it's team to it's a team of to pagalize. Um you're not close. Um because I thought I the fed I thought you were a pod racer, I thought you were getting close. It's a pod racer pilot. <laughs> It's the one from the cockpit that goes Aww. in the circle, and then it spins, and he goes, <laughs> Or I think that's, I think I that's think, him that does that voice. Is that Tinto that does that? The, uh, <laughs> uh, I, never mind. I think that's another, another pod racer, but What's it's the name? one with the, that one I don't know. I don't know. Really? I, I don't, don't assume you I don't know it. every single pod racer off the top of my head. <laughs> um, but he's the circle one that it, it detaches, and it goes, <laughs> Okay, so... Not team not two. not <laughs> two of sentient guardians forced to forever be making noise whenever they come closer and apart. Just a walk down the street makes this hurt 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 kind of thing. I don't I don't I don't think we'll I don't think I've ever seen anything even close to that in Star Wars. Well, it's not a bad time to start. Okay, they that's... Can, they can show up in Rise of Skywalker. You know? it's, <laughs> they can be the comedic relief. 
<laughs> oh my gosh. They give me red it's, it's, instead Kylo of Ren's porgs, assistance. Instead of porgs, they're going into the ruins of the Death Star going, Golly, who died? <laughs> well, these boys are coming back. They're, that's something. You save that. You save that for another time. <laughs> All right, who's number seven? All right, this guy's name is uh, either Sio or Sio. I don't quite know how I'd pronounce it. Bibble. <laughs> Exactly how it sounds. There's no ambiguity in that one. This one is my favorite little thing to to be able to pause the movie and tell someone that guy's name is Theo Pipple. <laughs> okay, a little pink snout going on. I like it. I like it. Big lower strong chin kind of <laughs> drool coming out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, I like it so far. Big. Oh, okay. Did not see that coming. <laughs> Didi, get out of my laboratory. Okay. <laughs> no, those aren't pigtails. Those, those are, are his ears. Those are. His, oh, I thought he was. <laughs> I thought those were pigtails. No, he's Cut, a, like blonde pigtails coming out of some sort of no, fleshy rock tails. <laughs> uh, he's got little giraffe giraffe pigtails. I like it. Okay, just you keep. <laughs> Is that another pigtail? Co <laughs> Bibble the Hut. Yes. Uh, so I could this actually I could see being a Star Wars creature. I feel like there's something in Maz Kanata's. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be a slug man, but now it's now he's just lazy and fat. <laughs> Nope, now he's a caterpillar. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. How close was I? The least close you could possibly be, <laughs> save for the fact that, sure, two eyes, nose, mouth, ears, <laughs> arms. Those are all common to him. Big tails? Nah, no big tails. He's got a bushy white beard. <laughs> oh, he's that it's, guy. He's the guy from <laughs> the Naboo. Yeah. Communications breakdown can only mean one I'm thing. I'm sorry, CEO. So I've always said Sio, but I, I have to, I, I, you know, it's the only thing I've only seen written down. So I've no idea if it's Sio or Sio. Yep, that's he's just a human, <laughs> normal human with a silly name, and I love it. Okay, there's there's no shortage of just normal human people you can point at and go, yeah, he's got a weird name. Sure, whole backstory is probably a tie-in novel. All right, this is my CO Bibble. Okay, did this you, is. Wait, did you, did you say CO Bibble, CO Bibble has his own novel? No, I'm just saying in general, there's <laughs> bound to be. Did we write his own novel? I, they did some Naboo and Padme focus stuff recently. I wonder if there's some good backstory for him in this. For CO. <laughs> okay, All right, the final one. This one, you're gonna love this name. This is a real name. I didn't make this up. I'm not throwing you a curve. His name is Therm Scissor Punch. <laughs> is so silly <laughs> that's his real name it's canon <laughs> this one i feel like you might have a good chance of getting kind of close just because the name is it implies a lot oh noodle arms <laughs> Little, little thing makes it look like he's got a sweater on. It's nice. You just gotta stay warm, you know? Oh, I've seen better days, though. Little teddy bear feet? Like it? Okay. Or those wheels. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering where you're gonna add the scissors, and I should have known. <laughs> I should have known. <laughs> He's, uh, uh, he's wearing a thermal. <laughs> yeah, it's and, cold, you know. Oh, those are down, those those are his, <laughs> his scissor bits. I thought he was gonna be a, a buff yeah. Ewok because of the. I thought you were doing. I thought you were doing teddy bear feet. <laughs> Oop. Oop. All right, that's my therm scissor punch. That's that's. I mean, <laughs> I should have expected. Actually, I should have actually expected that. Um. Okay. <laughs> the Wikipedia article for this guy states there's not a lot on him. It states he probably gave this name to himself, and that's why that's happened. 
<laughs> he probably doesn't actually know his last name. He's like, I don't know. I probably, I, it's a scissor punch. It's this guy from Solo. He's at the the card game. Whoa. And he's like a lobster man with Mr. Krabs' claws, and he punches with him, presumably. Oh. So he named himself Scissor Punch. Because, I don't know, you Do look at yourself. Do they have scissors? I don't, th they would just in click. No, I did think they, they have scissors in the Star Wars universe? Every, they would just cut everything using, like, little lightsaber blades, I bet. They probably have home use. So that's, that's, I like yours better, because this is just a weird lobster man. <laughs> All right. So, they're beautiful. I out of all them. of these, which one is your favorite? I think my favorite <laughs> is Jackson, just because he, he actually looks like... A, well, okay. He, I think his is the most well done, because that actually looks like that could be conceivably be an actual thing that exists what in the Star Wars What are you talking about? What about a, I thought a spider alligator? <laughs> <laughs> that all looks right. like he makes moonshine on an asteroid somewhere. Dude, that'd be great! That actually, I actually, now the more I say of it, uh, but no, Pong Man, Pong, Pong Crowler. Crowler. <laughs> he, he's my actual favorite because he, <laughs> so imagine shit, yeah, Luke Skywalker rounding a corner <laughs> and, and this guy, <laughs> this guy is like, we finally meet. <laughs> I've hunted you halfway across the guys, and they just like tip Definitely him like over. This. They just tip him over, and he can't get up. No, no, no. They they have like a pawn battle with the lightsaber <laughs> and the, himself. He's... His his gun shoots a big orb that then deflects back and forth. <laughs> All right. Oh my god. Well, should I put these in like a poster or something? If you want to print these, <laughs> I, we could we could sell this as a as a poster. Sure. <laughs> sure. Hey, uh, let us know in the comments if you'd buy this. <laughs> That's it. There's gonna be one guy. Oh, he's just gonna print the screen cap. <laughs> I don't know, man. I'd want a print of the Tinto Pagalize. <laughs> Sidon Athano is gonna be hanging above my bed on my ceiling, so I see Staring him. Staring at night. you. Making moonshine. A nice, on an like, asteroid. oil canvas print. <laughs> Cost just $70 to make. <laughs> Top Sidon Athano, Pong Krell, Jackson, Thrawn. Yeah, whatever that his name Tinto, is. Tinto, Pagalai, Seal Bibble, and Thurm Scissor Punch. These are the characters that will be featured in Star Wars Episode 10. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Cody, and you. If you want more characters like these, support your local library and read the old weird Star Wars stuff, I guess. There's some weird stuff out there. I got paid by the library to say that. I don't know. I don't know how to end these things. Thanks for watching. Don't let it end like this with me. <laughs>